Hey, my name is Jobby and Out of the way, Hot Rod! When Optimus Mother Slagging Prime tells you to get out of the way, you get the fuck out of the way, you little shit. Hot Rod, also known as Hot Rodimus, was a character that debuted in the 1986 masterpiece of a film, Transformers the Movie. He also jumped into the final battle between Megatron and Optimus Prime, leaving Megatron the opportunity to make Optimus Prime pull. And for that, I can never forgive him. Questionable second degree murder charge aside, I'm not the biggest fan of this character. Hot Rod's not a bad character by any means, he's just a bit bland. Young, reckless, but with a courageous spark, whatever. He also becomes the next Prime after Optimus dies, what the fuck? Not only is Rodimus Prime a dumb name, but why would they give the highest Autobot ranking to the new guy? I mean shit, what about Bubble? Maybe Transformers the movie wasn't a masterpiece. But you know what is a masterpiece? Not exactly this figure. But I still think the painting and the sculpting on this figure is awesome. As a side note, this guy comes packaged in his car mode, but it's kind of a tradition here to start off with the robot mode. As much as I'm not a fan of this character, I gotta admit, this figure captures his on-screen appearance really well. That is to say, I always found this design a little weird. With the suggestion of a collared shirt and the clearly defined boots, this guy looks a little too human to be a giant robot. The fact that this guy could transform at all is nothing short of a miracle. But that transformation comes with a few compromises. The backpack kinda stinks. I mean it's neatly folded up and all, but it makes the profile of this guy a little too wide. Not to mention it sets the arms back a little too far, making some poses a little awkward. Now I know I said poses, but we're not gonna swivel just yet. But I will say that the paint job on this guy is on par with the Masterpiece Optimus Prime in terms of precision and durability. No troubling paint chipping here, so you could be a little rough with him. And the face sculpt on this guy is fantastic. He's appropriately handsome, but he's got a bit of a bland expression. And unfortunately, this Masterpiece figure does not come with alternate faces. I mean, of course, it's not necessary, but why would you not have it at this point? But what you do get is a flip-out visor. And it's awesome how the visor actually flips out. And Instead of you having to switch faces, even though I suggested he should have switchable faces, fuck me. Only problem with this feature is that it tends to untab when you're moving the head, and that could get a little annoying. Another part that can flip out is his chest. He's a bit empty inside, but you could fill him up with Optimus Prime's essence. Fill him to the brim. <laughs> Despite being opposed to Hot Rod's promotion, this is a damn cool feature. Unfortunately, the Matrix of Leadership is not included with this figure, so if you were one of the five hardcore Hot Rod fans I'm sure you guys exist, you would have to buy a Masterpiece Optimus Prime to truly complete the set. But what this guy does come with are these accessories. First of all, you get a card, and that artwork is blatantly lying to you, the figure cannot put his knee up to his chest. And he gets some stats in the back, and a bio that probably says he's a respected Autobot leader, hashtag fake news. You get two kinds of guns that easily tab into his hands. Not much to say about these things, they're kind of boring in all honesty. You get a saw blade that looks more like a pizza cutter, and you attach it by folding up his hand and plugging it there. Very cool that it spins, I highly appreciate it. And for his final accessory, you get a fishing rod? This is so you can replicate that one scene where he's fishing with Daniel. I always found that so strange strange, and it's funny that they included this with the figure. I gotta admit though, you could get some pretty cool fishing poses with this thing. I said poses again, but this time, it's for real. It can look up that far and down that far. Rotation at the arm. If you untab the shoulder, you get some forward movement. This part of the arm rotates, but that's more for the transformation. Arm moves out, swivel here, double bend at the elbow, and here we got a swivel. Wrist moves up and down, hinge joint at the fingers, no individual articulation. At the waist, ab crunch, that's too floppy. Back skirts and side skirts can move out, and this crotch flap is one piece. Rotate at the leg, can rotate back that far, beautiful spread, dare to believe you can swivel, double bend at the knee, up and down at the ankle, and a pivot. Posability on this guy is pretty good, but nothing too crazy. He can't even pass the kneeling test. Now it may be that my memory's just a bit fuzzy, but I don't remember Hot Rod being this small, compared to Optimus Prime, Figma Madoka Kaname, SH Monster Arts Godzilla, and the Masterpiece MP36 Megatron. As much as the backpack bothers me, the robot mode is pretty good, but I'd say his car mode is also pretty good. And here we have the car mode. It's sleek, sexy, and flat as a pancake. While the robot mode had some chrome on his arms, the car mode takes an effort to really put the chrome on display. And it's beautiful. The windshield is a beautiful transparent blue, and there's even a semblance of a seating area in there. Because the hood was once his chest, it can open up, and you could shove the matrix of leadership in there. How dignified. Top of the car, looks great. But when you flip him over... 
Hello. This is how it comes out of the box, but if you turn his head around during transformation, pretty much solves that issue. But the legs will never go away. But at least you can attach the guns here. Doesn't look too bad, but what looks even better is if you flip up the engine and plug the gun there. You know, Hot Rod, I almost love you. As for posability, it's a car, what do you expect? Size comparison. Prime, Madoka, Godzilla, Megatron. And I actually had the time to transform this guy just for this comparison. Check out that review if you want to see how long that was. So for all the minor faults in this figure, I can still say that the figure's awesome. I don't know if it's around 70 bucks worth of awesome, but it is a pretty cool figure. It's definitely a must-have if you wanted to fully recreate the death of Optimus Prime. God damn it, you son of a bitch. And if you wanted to curse out your own hot rod, why don't you get him at the Lunar Toy Store? They didn't give me this figure, but I'm just letting you know that they sell it here. And you know what, Lunar Toy Store? You could... Take a little sidestep here. Let me plug myself for a change. If you were ever depressed enough to have a Jobby the Hong marathon, may I suggest my various playlists? We got a playlist for Transformers reviews, Figma reviews, and Model Kit reviews, and of course the biggest playlist, my whole catalog of toy reviews on this channel. Also check out my unboxing videos if you're into fast-paced editing and don't want to hear my voice for a minute. But wait, more plugs? Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Patreon, fuck even Jimmer. If you want to know what I'm up to and you want to know what the next review is going to be, follow me on all of them. I'm very lonely. See you next time!